So for the second step here, we are going to be writing our actual thesis statement. Again, your thesis statement is the core central argument or stance that you are taking on the target question or the prompt, which is again, how revolutionary was the American Revolution? So my thesis has to answer that question or take a specific stance on it. And a thesis statement is again, short. It's no more than one sentence, the statement. It has to directly answer the target question. If it doesn't answer the question, it's not a thesis. And give some su supporting arguments or assertions, essentially reasons why that support your argument. And again, for this uh, RST here, looking at how revolutionary was the American Revolution, you've got three options, three potential ways you could answer this question. So make sure you pick which one makes the most sense to you. Either you can say, one, the American Revolution was revolutionary and did create major changes, such as example one and two. Or your second option is the American Revolution was not very revolutionary and did not create major changes for the majority of people because reason one and two. And then your third option is the both option. The American Revolution was both revolutionary in some ways, but not revolutionary in others, such as, and then you give two specific examples. So how you're going to fill this out here is first here, this would be like a sentence stem where you'd be like, historians disagree if the American Revolution was actually revolutionary and created major changes for the majority of people. That would be like you're trying to transition between your context and your thesis. But then right here, you this would be to set up your thesis. But overall, the American Revolution was, and then you choose, was it revolutionary and created major changes? If that's the one you agree with, erase that, type that here say the American Revolution was revolutionary and created any positive changes. But again, that's just one option. You could also say American Revolution was not revolutionary and did not create major changes. And again, third option is both. So let's say I was going with the argument here that it did not. I would put that here. Your assertions are reason one. So if you said it did not create major changes because, because what? Slavery still existed or Native Americans had no rights. Those could be some potential examples, but you could also go with women didn't have the right to vote. It's up to you. And again, this isn't just saying that's the correct answer. If you wanted to go with was revolutionary and did create major changes, you could be like, well, reason one is new ideas about government. And my second one could be government wrong. Nobody's perfect. And then the second one could be slavery slowly started to end. So again, these match reasons why my thesis is correct. That's what you're doing for this one. Again, it really depends on which thesis you're actually taking, which arguments you're going to use as assertions or reasons why to support your thesis. But that's overall what you're doing, choosing which of these three theses, theses you think is the strongest and then giving two supporting reasons or assertions why.